Okay, uh, how are you, students of the life and works of Jose Rizal? So, uh, welcome to our special video lecture. Okay, for today, I I'd like to tackle a very interesting part of Rizal's life. No, so in, that's in between module 5 or module 7. Uh, it's all about his life abroad. No, so... Talking about Rizal, when he published the No Limitangere in 1887, that's in Europe. That was the time when he was so broke and, of course, penniless. Because at the time, his brother Pashano was not able to send him money or funds owing to the difficulties they encountered with the authorities here. So, I've read accounts about Maximo Viola's personal relationship with Rizal. Maximo Viola was a fellow propaganda member or propaganda movement member at the time in Madrid, no? So, Maximo Viola is a son of a well-to-do family in Bulacan, but they, uh, they, although they were schoolmates in UST, uh, Maximo Viola and Jose Rizal just uh, met substantially in Madrid. No, so that was the time when he, when Rizal asked him to accompany him for a tour in Europe. No, so at the time Maximo Viola was studying medicine also in Central Ubun Universidad de Madrid along with Rizal, and that's where they were acquainted properly. Uh, Maximo Viola's uh, accounts revealed to us that, um, that he had a, he toured Europe with Rizal in two months, so between May and June of 1887. That's after the publication of No Limitangere. After Rizal received uh, 1,000 pesos from remittance from his brother Pashano, Rizal embarked on a European tour with uh, Maximo Viola. And very interesting because uh, the, the two had an itinerary to meet with Ferdinand Blumentritt, a teacher whom Rizal was acquainted with and he was writing letters too, no? Uh, he was having correspondence with Blumenthal already at this time. 